you want to farm the labyrinth for all those juicy enchantments? Are you tired of dying in the labyrinth causing you to start over again? Either your run or the whole character? Do you want to build that can just face tag Izaro and Argus? Ignore most traps and whatever else the labyrinth might throw at you? Well, don't you worry. Yoji has you covered with the earthquaking lab farming face tank. And I know what you're thinking. How do you face tank Argus and Izaro? How can you ignore most traps? How fast does this farm the labyrinth? What items do you need for this? And is your voice really this annoying? I will answer all those questions and more in this video. So how do I face tank Argus and Izaro? Fix K life. 7 endurance charges, that is 28% physical damage reduction, 600 life regen per second, permanent fortify with 35% increased fortify effect, defensive flasks such as a granite and a basalt flask, the indomitable passive node in case something crits me. This build is able to do most combinations of Izaro's mechanics with the most difficult outcome possible for the last fight to obtain a maximum number of keys, because the more difficult you make the last fight, the more keys you can obtain. However, I don't recommend letting him keep his vulnerability curse, as well as full stacks of the green charges. That is, if you actually plan to face tank the fight. So how do I ignore most traps? First of all, movement speed and leap slam are key. We get movement speed from our ascendancy points, which is very helpful against traps. You can equip a high attack speed weapon and get a second quicksilver flask for the trap gauntlets if you want to. High life regeneration and endurance charges mitigate damage from the traps. You keep those charges up by using enduring cry whenever you see mobs. Fortify on the other hand only mitigates damage from traps that hit you, such as spiky spiky, choppy choppy and poo poo traps. Spinny spinny, pssst, Roombas and hot grill traps count as a degen, so fortify does not help at all against them. Once you know that, clench everything that needs to be clenched and just run through and pot when needed. It is really that simple. But how fast does this build run the labyrinth? How fast you run the traps, how well you memorize the layouts and optimize your path is solely on you. How fast does this build kill Izaro? Not very fast. But Yoji, you said this was a lab farming build. Well, the goal of this build was to make it foolproof to farm the labyrinth, as I play hardcore and my skills are pretty limited. Considering I did not die in all those runs I did in the Merciless Labyrinth, I see this build as a success. You can start running Merciless Labyrinth like this at around level 80. So what items do you need for this? I recommend a Marui Erki Hammer. A 4 link will suffice. A 5 link is better and a 6 link is almost completely useless. Link Earthquake with less duration, melee physical damage. Added fire. As a 5th link you use weapon elemental damage or as professionals call it. Wed. Okay, if you really want a 6 link, here are your options. The less clunky, the tooltip warrior, the greedy, the lazy, the stone cold, the better safe than sorry, the dirty, the impatient. If you run a blue gem such as item rarity for AoE clear, you can swap conk effect for bosses. If you want a 6 link that is actually worth getting, get a GG coronal mall instead and link ink AoE as your last support gem. Other gem setups I use are vengeance plus life gain and hit for random healing spikes when enemy are in melee range. Cast when damage taken plus enfeeble to mitigate some more damage. You can add Molten Shell and Arctic Breath too to boost your armor and slow enemies with chilled ground. Don't run Immortal Core. You want to keep your endurance charges up for constant physical mitigation. Auras are Hatred and Herald of Ash. For single target help I used an Ancestral Protector Totem linked with melee physical damage, faster attacks, added fire and WEDU. It is very useful for boss killing. Lastly for movement, Leap Slam linked with faster attacks. For the rest of your gear, use armor based items with as much strength and life as possible. Get 30% movement speed boots and cap your resistances. That is all I had and it served me well up to tier 12 maps and of course in all the Merciless Labyrinth runs. And if you want to spend more on the build and take it to the highest tiers of maps, get a lightning coil and a taste of hate. If you want to know how exactly I leveled this character up, check out my manly leveling guide by clicking here. I will also add leveling passive trees to the video description below. Now for the last question. Is my voice really this annoying? Well you can find out by subscribing, checking out my channel and watching all of my other videos. I am Yoji and I will see you soon.